Hi and welcome to this week's video report. It's been a very cold week here in the valley. However, we've also had lots of clear skies, so as long as you were happy to brave the cold weather, there was the opportunity to enjoy some great skiing on near empty pistes. This was certainly the case when I went skiing in Le Tour earlier this week. The snow cover was excellent and despite the lack of any recent snowfall, the piste had a thin layer of softer snow. There were no queues at any of the lifts and once you were out of the wind, you could really make the most of the quiet slopes. The conditions had been similar in all the ski areas, with a solid base of snow on the piste and very few people. However, as we head into next week, things will get busier as this is the start of the school holidays. We'll see more people all over the valley, although the tour tends to be less busy even during this time than, for example, the brevon flecher ski area. Last weekend we went to watch one of the most exciting events of the season, the Men's World Cup Downhill Ski Race, or the Kandahar. The legendary veteran provided a spectacular downhill race, with the skis showing off their skill, and you can see the names of the winners of the different races on your screen now. The snow depth in the Suge is between 35 and 210 centimetres and over in brevon flecher there is up to 350 centimetres of snow which is the same as the balm in the Tour. In Les Grands Montées you'll find 450 centimetres of snow at the very top. The avalanche risk is currently 3 out of 5 above 1800 metres and 2 out of 5 below this level. Now if you're planning an evening out for Valentine's Day which is this Tuesday, Chamonix has several good bars and restaurants to choose from. For more information and a bit of inspiration, go to our dining page. If you want to catch a film, Cinema Box is showing several English spoken films. And for details of these and other things to do in town, please visit our What's On calendar. The weather forecast is for mainly sunny weather until the end of the week, and we are likely to see slightly milder temperatures. However, the wind is also set to pick up ahead of the weekend, which means it'll still feel very cold, particularly in the morning. That's all for this week. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.